it is Lord Haywire. I am streaming the Doors of Trithius again. Uh, I've streamed this many a time. Uh, last time I streamed it though, there was a bug and then OBS pra crashed, so I just said fuck it. I'm streaming some other time. So I only streamed it for an hour last time, so I always wanted to get back to this character. Uh, the Shit Kicker, he's a brawler level two. And you know, every time I play a roguelike and re. So this is a roguelike, <laughs> if you didn't know. Um, I don't know why I'm laughing. How the fuck would you know? Anyways, <clears throat> uh, this is a roguelike that's kind of like Stone Shard. That's, I think, the the most compared game that, that people compare it to. I actually like this one better because the, the progression in Stone Shard is so, so uh, slow. Anyways, I made a character here last time, and, and this is like, I think, my second or maybe third character. And generally what happens whenever I come back to... Uh, uh, it doesn't say I'm streaming, but I am. Uh, roguelike, my character immediately dies. <laughs> That's just the given. Uh, and so this guy probably will immediately die. He is supposed to be using unarmed, but his unarmed damage is very low. So how this game works is, uh, it's one of the, it's like Skyrim, you know, where the more, the one you use that, you learn more of that. So we got a crossbow. At least I thought I had a crossbow. Um, I have an iron bolt. Oh, that's it. That doesn't look like a crossbow to me. Uh, I don't know what, what happened here. A pickaxe and some iron bolts. We went to a bar and, and there was a fatal error when I tried to leave the, the room I rented. So that was the problem last time. And I don't know why it crashed. It could have been the game. It could have been my computer. Uh, and then we have discovered these other skills, but we don't know enough of I wish I could go scroll down to them, but I cannot. Um, I clicked on it, too, because, you know, that's how things work sometimes. But we know botany. So this is another thing in the game that I really like. I really like this game, which is why I keep streaming it. Uh, you can discover these different skills, and then you uh, can put points into them later. And you, it's it's also like a use thing. You get you use it, you get it. Uh, I picked medicine, it look like looks like. That's kind of interesting. Looks like we have a physical damage well. Here's our accuracy, 74. Here's all this stuff. You know, the stuff. Uh, critical chance, 5%. <clears throat> bleed chance and everything. Where's my damage? Uh, I feel like it should be right. Maximum damage, minimum damage. Let's unequip this thing because I'm just curious. Yeah, so see how much little damage I do without a weapon. But it does give me... Uh, the reason... It does give me... Um, Plus two minimum damage, plus two with while on. Well, that's not very useful. Uh, accuracy, while what? <laughs> Doesn't give me shit. Uh, every, each unarmed level grants grants uh, plus five maximum damage to un all ar all unarmed attacks. That doesn't do anything for me. For some reason, I re remember this giving me a bonus to all of my attacks, but it doesn't. So we're, what we're going to do is if we find any any weaklings, we will punch them to death. We will take this out of our our hand and punch them to death. Uh, so we have a chest here that we, I think I paid for. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I went through all this and already put everything I don't want. But I, I uh, pretty sure that I paid for like a week just because I never had, I always just like whatever, wing it but this time i wanted to pay for a week and then we also have an alchemy thing over here but we don't know any alchemy stuff so let's let's go fight and there's been updates since i did it and they're, they're very updating they're updater people uh, there's also a journal or something somewhere i'm pretty sure quests that's what i want uh we gotta kill eric the reaper um we're kind of weak there is that we kill this goblin chief and then this is the main quest i uh, found an ascension fragment in the ancient temple i should ask around to see if anyone knows more uh nerton is the town i'm in i believe i don't remember how to leave a town i i also noticed oh this dude's in my way get out of the way dickhead <laughs> i also noticed that uh what the fuck was i going to talk about I don't, I, now, now I've forgotten what I noticed. I did not notice any, anything. We have an unidentified potion. I wonder if we can get that identified somewhere. Uh, looks like you're the rarest of armor. We don't want that. 
Uh, let's go over this job board, because sometimes there's some quick, easy money. I don't know why it's so jumpy. Uh, there is no jobs. Okay. Um, I don't remember how to, if I have to walk to the edge, or if I can just leave the map from here. I think I have to walk to the edge. It's very... Okay, the jumping has gone away. Oh, it's back again. I wonder why it's acting so strange. Rip, rip, rip. Oh, I guess I don't have to. What? What is going on? <laughs> you know, I wonder if the the crash was related to this game last time. I gotta look at the controls because I can't remember if I can just leave the goddamn. Uh, B is escape. I don't think I need B. Okay, it is. All right, so they have an overworld map and like things fighting each other now. I wonder if it was like a bad save now. Let's quit to the main menu and reload it because, you know, I loaded it after. Um, doesn't look like either one of these matter. After they had done some updates and there was a bug. Uh, what are these things over here? Let's take a look. Okay, so we have, and that has a little square on it. So I'm going to assume that's where we're supposed to go. Babu, Babel Fortress, Gremlins. Uh, Kremlins are a little tough. I don't have any spells. I have jump. Oh, no, it's this thing. Yeah, brace yourself and get ready for a brawl, getting plus four maximum damage for 15 turns. It's this thing uh, that I... And I, where was that? Uh, but it requires unarmed. That's a passive. Where's my active stuff? I don't know, it's this thing. This is the thing I was thinking of. Let's see, plus four ma maximum damage for 15 turns. Let's check and make sure it actually applies because it might only apply to uh, an armed combat and then what the fuck have I been doing this whole time? Now uh, we got minimum and maximum damage, so 20.4. Let's head up on this guy here. Then let's check our stats again. Yeah, it does apply. That was the thing I was thinking of. That was bad of me to advance like that, but we did kill that guy. There's also a way to look at these. Oh, he can hit me from there. Look at these guys. This guy's fucking me up. Oh, he's, so these are these like little fungi. So there's a, basically the plot is, hey, we killed that thing and we got a level. Um, <clears throat> The plot, there's something, I think it's a spider rib. The plot is that uh, those little things have been like taking over these gremlins. Ow. No, bad click. We do some good damage with this pickaxe though. Ah, uh, we need to rest. And I don't remember any commands. It's not spacebar. Oh, you know what we need actually is to eat some. Uh, I saw something. A mushroom omelet. We'll save that one. I probably should have bought some food when I was leaving, but we did not. Raw insect meats. Yeah, I should have bought some food before I, I took off here. We got a raw potato. <laughs> no. Uh, we'll eat the raw potato. That would be disgusting. I'm a huge fan of potatoes. I'm going to try not to talk about them. Because that's a thing that I do when I ever a potato comes into play. Uh, is this really the only... This is the only spot, huh? Wait, what's back here? Oh, just a little nook. Man, I totally should have bought some food. We'll wait on that one. Yeah, it's doing that weird thing again. How strange. Uh, we can try to get these. They might poison us. We do have an antidote thing. Oh, yeah, we leveled up. Uh, let's go to our character. Go to our skills. Um, go to our stats. Oh, we got to sleep. That's the deal. It looks like I forgot everything. All right, we do have an antidote. So if you pick these, sometimes they can kill you. And we don't want to die. Oh, I forgot we had a, the crossbow, too. Okay, it's not X. I think it's R. No. Uh, there's a... Let me look again. It hasn't been that long, but my memory is so terrible. Swap to... It is R. 
Uh, then we gotta push three to reload. That's it. And we're actually pretty good with the crossbow. Whoops. I pushed R to reload like a fool, right? Uh, why would it ever be... <laughs> why would it ever be that? Uh, I should have reloaded before. That looked like some sort of gremlin king. There is a way to look at these guys. There, we just leveled up our skill, our mastery in crossbows. We have one point. We can each uh, plus 1% damage. That's such a little gain. We were talking about this last night. Like, I, I feel like I want um, things to uh, feel more when you, when you level up. These are all two focus points. We only have one. These are all more. So we could put into accuracy or 1% damage. That is so little amount of damage. Um, it, I mean, I guess it's a passive. So we get 2% bonus. That's so little. Uh, so the only thing we can get is attack speed. I forget how attack speed works in this. But let's put it in here. And then let's hit R and go back to our other weapon. Let's do this thing. 14 points. Can I eat him, eat this while he's standing here? We can. I should have done my other thing first. He's preparing something? What does that mean? Oh, we're getting lucky with his misses. Oh, we did it. I thought we were going to die. This has to be worth something. Can we close our character our masteries here? Uh, yeah, we'll loot all. We'll loot all. Uh, let's switch back and reload here. So what we're looking for now... What's that? Is... Not rat tails. Uh, what we're looking for now... Is a place to, to sleep. Step back up. Oh, he's a mage. And he's doing bad stuff to me. <clears throat> what does he do? Negative 20% damage. Just in general, huh? Alright, let's switch to the... I feel like the pickaxe is a better... I'm trying to go really slow. Because like I, I said, I always... Oh my god, always die. Oh, he croaked! At the beginning of every... Every roguelike. Whoops. We should probably get the fuck out of here. Oh no, there's another one. It got greedy. The range on this thing's pretty great. It does pretty good damage. Let's always keep it loaded, though. I'm down to seven shots. Yeah, I probably had planned to go buy food and stuff, and then I just didn't. <clears throat> and I don't remember how you identify potions. I think you can go to a vendor, but... What is this thing? 50? It's locked, huh? I don't think I have any way to get through... Uh, we could eat high chance to apply poison. We don't want that. And I don't think I'm smart enough to cook things. I think that was what part of my plan was. Can I equip this? Um, it's gone. It's not on my character, though. I have two rings. I, I like to wear any any bling, you know, oh, I like favorited it or something. Yeah, that's all I can do. Rat tail, rotten food. I could just drink this, but it might kill me. Let's not die yet. Let's be real careful. Real careful. 
A buckler? I think this is a two-handed thing. It is. I wonder if I could use a buckler and punch. Um, we're range level two. This this crossbow is really the thing that's keeping us alive. And eight shots. Cause you get we get them some of them back, you know. We could leave here. We could leave. The one problem is sometimes I click next to it and move forward. And that's a real bummer because it will have you like run all the way over there. This dude's kind of stressing me out because where's he running to? Like, obviously nowhere now. So yeah, we're gonna have to buy some crossbow bolts too. Food and crossbow bolts. And we probably should take like cooking next or something. Arrows. Oh, you know, we leveled up something. 26, that was nice. Oh, there's another one of these things. Man, maybe I should have played like a ranger type character because I'm killing it with this thing. Uh, now I'm out of arrows though, or bolts. Uh, range two, we have one focal point. We currently have all experience gains will is increased by 10%. It's currently, <clears throat> I think we're gonna just keep doing the experience thing. I'm always a big fan. If your character can live long enough, uh, we could. We have one antidote potion. The big problem is, <laughs> um, the big problem is, our hip. Oh no, it does stack. I was like, I don't think. I was about to say, I don't think it stacks. Man, we are terrible at that shit. This could have been the death of us. Poisoning me. Oh wow, we're down to 51. Okay, it's five per step. Let's, I wanted to get, I can make it, right? I can make it. Jesus Christ, where's my antidote potion? Let's hope that this removes all poison wounds. Damn. And we have no other food. Yeah, I totally probably was planning on buying some food. I wonder why I was was carrying this thing around. Raw insect meat. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, have a chance of making me sick. So. Hey, another antidote. That's some lucky shit there. Hey, there's a bed, too. That means we can level up. <clears throat> and some flour. I think cooking might actually be the next thing we want to take. Uh, oh, that's not a bed. This is... A, that, what is this? This is a workbench. We can do a bandage, a torch, arrow. We can salvage. We can repair stuff. This game doesn't really have durability in the common sense. I'm stoked that we got all these... These, uh... I gotta, I gotta apply them. Crossbow bolts. Uh, <clears throat> they just break sometimes, which I'm actually fine with. <laughs> uh oh, we're really low hit points, so I don't, I don't want to let them close if possible. All right, let's go back down here. You don't have to. Eat. No, I think you do actually have to eat. Um, why did I think that one was unopened? Uh, you have to eat food, but I've been eating so much for healing that it doesn't matter. Hey, there's another raw potato. So we can go down a another level. That's medicine. Uh, okay, we gotta go over here. And over here. We gotta go to both sides. Yeah, it's weird how it gets, like, jumpy. <laughs> I wonder if they have cover in this game, like if, if it's harder to hit them when they're in a certain space or whatever. Uh, 
I love the, the noises that they make. Um, iron bolts. Oh, we those are ours. Copper cup. I wonder if, if that quest was considered accomplished. Because we killed the... Um, <clears throat> Instead of fallen gremlin, I discover bizarre roots seeping with an uncanny magic. It might be worthwhile to inquire about the in inquiry about around about this unsettling find. I killed the chief and should report back. Uh, we can. I've never been attacked while I'm sleeping, but that doesn't mean that that isn't possible. So let's let's kind of like make sure this is a little bit clear. Oh, you know, I think it's like a key. You hit like a key or something to see what those things are. Like, what is this thing? Ragged plate boots, scrap metal, worker's boot. I think we got some boots to put on. Uh, these boots, Pathfinder boots, give us dodge chance, move speed, and travel fortitude what about these uh ragged plate cripple resistance uh 25 knock no, but we're slower move speed i think we're actually okay with what we have we can sell that stuff what was that noise uh Peasant's cap, we could definitely use that, but let's kill this guy first. Oh, he's got something. He's taking the treasure. That's unacceptable. I don't know where he went. Oh, a spider killed him, I think. Oh, there's another one. Um, <clears throat> it looks like they could poison. Oh, but they also have little hit points. Did I research this one? I did. Stunned in a mo- Oh, that was a trap I just stepped in. There we go. Oh, and I am hungry. Sludge moss. I guess we're going to eat this data we're actually pretty fucked up we should get out of here this guy looks a little tough too damn it I was confident oh what's he doing oh no okay run away I think it might be too late. They're fighting each other, but... No, 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 I stepped in that... Okay, we're okay. We're not okay. Is there anything I can eat? I guess I could drink... I think these things are faster than me is the problem. Oh, I'm dead if I get hit one more time. Oh, I can jump. Uh, we just got the athletic skill discovered. We need to run... Like we've never run, ran in our lives. And we're going to go all the way home. I think that slows us down. What does it do? Yeah, it slows us down. Um, gain five health gain. In, instant use. Instant use? Being, I'm trying to be very careful as we try to make this escape. So that doesn't hurt me, at least. Um, this is the way up, so we gotta go this way. Six more... Uh, cancel. <laughs> Sounds like a terrible idea. Six more turns and before we can jump. A crossbow must be equipped... Oh, I'm reloading, not jumping. Damn it. I was like, why did I need a crossbow for that? You know, we could. No, let's just get out of here. We'll come back and clear this out later. We got, like, stuff, you know. We got loot. We got a, a quest we finished. And we need to buy a bunch of food. 
Uh, it's partially done. No, that's me. Partially hurt. Uh, we are going to enter the location. Got anything here? No. <clears throat> oh, that was the guy. No, no, it wasn't. Maybe it was. Uh, oh, no, this is the guy who we in, we inquired. I received a lever, letter from Mermo, who claims to be a gremlin and is requesting my help. I can find him at bat. That wasn't the place I was just killing everyone, wasn't it? Uh, I still have a bed, so I can sleep. And I'm pretty sure I paid for a week. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want to find who gave us this quest. I can't remember. I've killed Eric the Reaper. How much cash do I have on me? I guess I can't click on that while I'm... 87 gold. Yeah, I don't think that's enough for... No, no, no. Ah, uh, the Gremlin Chief is dead. We got gave him some wisdom. We gained eight reputation. So I think how it works is that I'm level four. Uh, prices and stuff go down with your reputation. How many days do I have left? I have five days. Perfect. Do you want to trade? <clears throat> See, this shit's kind of expensive. What we need to do is learn cooking. That's got to be the next thing. I wanted to look at our reputation here. Uh, reputation is stranger. Oh, this is like to the different... Interesting. We can't buy houses. Is that the name of this town? I thought this town had some other name. Uh, these are the different factions, I think. Ardix must be the name. Aradax must be the name of this town. And then these are the guards. All right. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, we still have this. Even though we finished the quest, didn't we? We did. Uh, then we got to go back to that same place for this other quest, which is kind of weird. Uh, we're going to deep sleep. We got we got two levels we can apply stuff with. Normally, I like immediately. Um, we got 100 wisdom. Okay, so I definitely think we need cooking. It's also an easy way to experience. Um, athletics always... Are the athlete... Always straps are perfect fitness cord or physical fitness and mental coordination while a knight may face his problems head on. The, those trained in athletics per, prefer to slip quietly by or simply leap over. Uh, we get a small so that would help our running away. Reading is usually what I got what I go for. Botany would help you identify and harvest those things so I wouldn't get so much poison when I'm trying to pick shit. Um in each botany level. Until identified, plants will appear dull and colorless and have very low chance to harvest. I mean, I, I can't help myself but try to harvest every goddamn plant, plant, you know. Reading is normally what I go for. for. Because <clears throat> I, just, I just like having my guys walking around reading books. Let's go with botany. I don't remember what my plan was before. So let's go back to our skills here. Uh, and we get, uh, that's the chance to harvest each, each, uh, bonus critical failure. Oh, that reduces, oh, that costs two. Uh, each bo botany level increases the chance to harvest those things. But I can't, I don't have any points that I can, I got nothing there. And then here is where we, we can get some good experience, just like kind of dicking around. Each cooking level um, uh, improves a plus 1.5% chance to create a superb version. Uh, so now we got to think of what, we're, what we got. Meat preparation. I actually think we have raw meat. So we probably should uh, unlock meat preparation first. And then we got to go find a spot where we can use their, their cooking stuff. I wonder if we have any other thing. We have like, look at this saber. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> uh, work gloves? Why aren't I wearing these? 
I can buy some better stuff. Got leather, recipes, a meat cleaver. We'll come back. We still have days left here. We gotta find a, a place where I can use their their oven or whatever it is. <clears throat> uh, the adventurer is trying to better understand gremlin culture and is requesting you bring him one rat slock to assist his research. 16 days and 90 gold. I think I have two. Let, I don't think I want to do more than one quest at a time that's like that. Because, yeah, I only have... Well, it just says it's day three, hour three. Um, I'm supposed to probably be asking more people about this other stuff, though. Uh, let's find this cooking place. Oh, right. You can buy houses in here. And then for a while, uh, you would you could like go in here and throw stuff down. Yeah, it gets weird and janky every once in a while. I'm not really sure why. Like you could go into other people's houses and store stuff and use their beds and stuff. I don't think you can do that anymore. Look at this dude. Um, can you sell me some armor? No. What's up with you? Oh, this is the guy who gave us that. I become stronger. My guts say that there's still more come back when you're ready. So that's the like real, the real, the main quest. Uh, an adventure, I would leave immediately everything behind and join your travels, but my wife won't let me. Yeah, it's the wife is the problem. Maybe there's no, uh, there's no nothing here. It's a very crappy town. Yeah, I already tried to go in there, I think. Well, so maybe we should buy a little bit of food just in case. I was going to try to um, cook this stuff, but <clears throat> yeah, this town sucks. Oh, I thought that was the bartender. No, this must be the bartender down here. No, that's not the bartender. It's got to be this guy. This is the guy I clicked on earlier. Um, let's buy the cheap shit. Bread? I think bread looks like the cheap shit. Chance to apply poison? You can just... Well, we'll stick that in our room. But man, bread is kind of expensive. I'm glad I took cooking. Let's do five. And then let's go dump off whatever we need to dump off here. A copper cup. Arrows. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the arrows behind. Sludge moss. I don't know what that is. A rat tail. Bandages. We'll leave our gold behind. Can we shift click? Yeah, the buckler. Because we only have a limited number. That was like the... We could have taken that one skill. Cotton shirt we want. Ascension fragment. For holding this reminds you of home. Five oil. That's for cooking and crafting. Flour. Stink horn. Uh, difficult to harvest and highly poisonous, though harmless if cooked. Bread recipe. Oh, we don't want to store that, but I want it. I want to use it. Oh, yeah. I think we need to find spider fangs. Um, I think we need to find lumps of coal. Guana tails. It's a crafting ingredient. We have a torch, scrap metal. Oh, I was going to equip that. Um, ragged plate boots, a shiv, rotten food, thawing. Mermo request our aid. I don't think I've ever gotten that letter before. I don't remember that ever before. All right, we're down to 47. I would like to get it down lower. Oh, well. <clears throat> and what I wanted to do was read these. Uh, it's interesting you can learn, you can read recipes, but you can't. Did we read this? I don't think we did. 
You know how to read, but that's not what we're reading. It should be funny. It might be shocking to learn that I'm a gremlin. However, I felt compelled to reach out to you when I learned you destroyed a decay root inhabiting one of my kin. These roots are no ordinary growth. They're the physical manifestation of a corrupt magic that is poisoning gremlins far and wide. It taints us, alters our behavior, and causes unprecedented aggression. You unwittingly, perhaps, have already taken a significant step towards assisting us by destroying the decay root. Oh, wow. I only have seven crossbow bolts. In light of whatever of this, I, this that I reach out in the hopes of enlisting your aid. Uh, should you decide to aid us, make your way to my laboratory located within ba Babel's Forest. On the second floor, look for an entrance of porthole. Uh, oh, uh, it's crucial that you do not. Okay, so that was that thing that was locked. So, get that out of there. I guess it's time to go back down and blast some more uh Gremlins. Maybe I should leave all this crafting stuff behind. Like wood and... I don't know why I'm carrying that, but it's not that heavy. Yeah, we'll leave all the crafting stuff behind, except for... <clears throat> uh, we're going to put that on. And we're going to read that. cloth no we're just gonna we're gonna just get rid of all that stuff for now we got like quite a pile of shit here to come back to though and we're gonna equip this i don't even look if it was good for physical resistance so we have two quests kill the eric guy and we're gonna set b to get out of here which is probably this one or we can go back to this gremlin thing i wonder if it remembers this the stuff you put in. Uh, last visited one day ago. It looks like it does. Speedy, how's it going? My adventure in life. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of. Oh, this guy is still here. Uh, it's kind of a disappointment. Oh, and that's all it took to kill that guy. Ah, the game. Um. Currently, I'm a brawler who does not do any brawling. <laughs> I just mostly use this crossbow. This crossbow so far seems like the best item. And we are mole meat. We just got some mole meat. Uh, I'm a big fan of mole people. You know, like people who live underground. I'm going to drink out of this. Uh, we collected stagnant water. This is where I was running away. We got an onion. We got to find a place to cook. Oh wait, maybe we can cook. Maybe we can cook uh, over here. Oh, we cannot. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna probably go step on this trap. Oh, these aren't the traps. I can't interact with them. That is a trap. I can't disarm them. Those are already set off. That one is not already set off. Maybe it rolls a little bit. Man, there's a lot of them. I wish I could disarm her, but I probably need the trap skill. Oh, there's like a ton of them. And now I'm hungry. Oh, like they're eating all my hit, my hit points. Let's eat some bread that I just bought. I might bet the mole meat high chance to apply uh <clears throat> oh i got like broken legs and shit well i have a splint somewhere let's go to our removes one cripple wound removes two bleed wounds Hey, we got level two medicine. That's one way to get some some skills. Is uh, just get wounded all the time. We have one focus point. We took the recipe for that. Twenty percent chance to not consume a bandage or a sprint, a splint. A little late now. Uh, you can catarize. It removes all active bleeds, but it applies a burn. 
All medical items are deploy or uh, double speed. Get ten health whenever a wound is cured by using medicine. Those are too expensive though. So uh, we probably should unlock this one. Usually it's antidote that I go for immediately. Let's go with. I have one antidote. But I, with all these traps here, I'm worried that I'm gonna get. I left that wood at home. <laughs> I think I left my spider fangs and shit too. <clears throat> Long lasting antidote. These are all just one. I'm kind of. I think I'll do the the splint this time though. And then we'll do antidote. That may have been a horrible mistake. Let's go talk to this dude first. Because this is really dangerous. And I don't remember where it was. God damn, dude. That was some fucking traps. Still no place to cook. Where was that little thing that I found earlier? I remember clicking on it. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's get this loot though. I think loot is a key ingredient. All right, this is the guy who supposedly wants to talk. We're gonna steal all of his cabbages first. And we're gonna steal his tomatoes that we don't wanna eat because tomatoes are fucking disgusting. And he has stuff. Now we can talk to him. Uh, Splendid, you arrived. My letter found its way to you. Excellent, excellent. These roots, the bane of my kin, are a much graver ordeal than you may have guessed, dear adventurer. There's no time for dilly-dally. Tell me more about the decay root I found. The decay root you've stumbled upon. It's a manifesta manifestation of the very pestilence affecting us. You see, dark magic has taken hold of the gremlins far and wide. Blech, tomato sandwich. That sounds awful. What do you put? You put mayonnaise on it? Ugh. <laughs> Over time, this dark, dark magic. Oh my god, that sounds so gross. I mean, I understand. If you like it, you should eat it. But I would not like it. Over time, this dark magic uh, coalesces and forms physical roots. Fry sauce sandwich? And forms physical roots within us, which you unfor unfortunately have witnessed. How, why should I help you? A valid question. Do you see this pestilence isn't merely causing us to decay? It's driving us towards a terrible, unthinkable war with the humans. It says conflict. We're becoming rather unsociable, violent, so, violently slow, and I fear it won't be long before they're sporadic. Yeah. Uh, we must act quickly. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> so he's like, we must uh, act quickly. I'm like, well, let's get to know each other first. Where to start? I'm uh, quite an anomaly among gremlins, you see. My brethren are, let's say, less intellectually inclined. Like they gave him glasses <laughs> and a book. They're like, I'm a fucking nerd. However, as my kin turned violent due to the decay, I had to seclude myself and avoid their wrath. It was quite lonely refuge, though I suppose it's fitting abode for a bookish recluse such as myself. Fry sauce is ketchup and mayo with dill pickle vinegar. Um... That sounds okay. That sounds good. Like, mixed together. Like, I don't, like, hate, hate mayo. I just don't. I only like it in small portions. And with, ugh, <laughs> with tomatoes, that sounds. And then you get the tomato seeds in there. Ugh. Also, I can feel the darkness encroaching upon my thoughts. Time, my friend, is not our, on our side. Uh, who's causing this? Uh, it goes back to our own gremlin king. Well, I killed that guy. Blinded by the lure of shiny object, he unearthed a collection of radiant orbs from the underground. The orbs, beautiful yet treacherous, were laced with an ancient dark magic. Unable to resist their lure, the king distributed them among his generals. That was the beginning of the end. Uh, the de decay orbs are the origin of our affliction. Beautiful, 
bewitchingly beautiful yet harboring is a distraction. Uh, the very magic and vinegar invigorates us, amplifying our natural aptitude, but unfortunately hastens our transformation into something else. I will help you. Yeah, what can we do to stop it? The first order of business is to uh, comprehend the magic trap within the decay orbs. Do this, I need you to procure one of the orbs for me. They lie safely locked away within the treasure rooms of the fortress that are general's command. Uh, these fortresses are heavy or uh, fortified and the orbs are fiercely protected. <clears throat> uh, his is a, he's not a brute force guy. I will help you. Uh, joyous news, your willingness to help me fills me with hope. This journey is fraught with danger and uncertainty, but it's burden we must shoulder to protect the world. Let's commence our mission by securing a decay orb. With the orb in hand, I shall be able to unravel the magic they hold. Alright, let's look at our quests here. We gotta kill this guy. And... One of the, of the goblin... I already killed the goblin king, so I'm a little... All right, there's our workbench. We can make a splint. Do we have any wood? We do not, because I left it behind. Uh, we don't have any recipes. Is this a cook spot? Oh, this is enchanting. Huh. Of course, I don't know anything. But, oh, well, then we just figured out that the enchanting skill, skill exists. We could also sleep down here, but there's no point to it. So what we need to do is find a cooking spot and kill everyone here. That's that's a two-step process. Murder and cooking. I don't know what goblin or gol or gremlins I mean are made of, but we might be able to uh, cook them up. Uh, do I have an antidote potion? I do. <laughs> Motherfucker. Um uh, <clears throat> oh, this guy's a... Is this a different one? I should have probably... I'm going to see if it will wear off on its own. There is a chance of that. Uh, I should have probably punched it to death. What is this thing? I think you hold a key, like I was saying. Whoops. Not that key. Uh, let me look one more time. Way to turn, escape, feed, medicine... Pick up, interact, cycle, next. Tab and minus, huh? Uh, I swear to God, you can look at these things. I just can't remember how to do it. Ability picker, favorite items. Display, push to show. Which, oh, it's in? No, I thought there was it. Well, who cares? We're just going to kill the goddamn things, right? I'm going to run out of, of, of crossbow bolts. But I don't know what that was. Or, I mean, it's a cave beetle. And I am poisoned. And I am going to run out of crossbow bolts. But, okay, I am not. Oh, there's another one. I'm saving this thing for when they get closer. We have to go to, all right, melee. Ten points. Raw insect meat, that's okay to eat. Oh, is this where they, they grew? Is it like RimWorld? I'm making, I'm playing RimWorld lately again with that new DLC. Um, I got over my poison. Uh, <clears throat> you, got, you got all sorts of stuff. Little farms and shit, you know. Spider silk. I don't want to get poisoned again, but I'm going to take the chance. There we go. We got some oil. I wonder why we can't cook in these things. Oh, there was a thing here. Uh, Speedy, now you should tell me about your adventures. <laughs> all right, all of the this is the we're back to trap zone here. Well, it's a little late for this. <laughs> oh, 
24. This guy can fuck. TFT. Uh, Team Fortress 2. Right? <laughs> Is that what we're, we're talking about? The right thing. Team Fight Tactics. What is that? Oh, he crippled me. This guy might kill me. League of Legends. Huh, I've never even heard of that. <clears throat> that was pretty close. We did need some wood. Um, to... Oh, motherfucker. See, I started going too fast. Uh, do I have a bandage? I don't think I can craft um, a splint. Yeah, without a workbench. And I can't, I don't know if that's a workbench. We know there's that, that, no, that's a potion shelf. We know there's a workbench downstairs. Does this go away eventually? I don't know if it does. <clears throat> Let's go back to this dude's thing and use his workbench. You know what I meant to check was to make sure that those weren't something. Uh, when you say auto chest, what do you mean? Let's see here. A splint. We want to craft it. And look at that. We got a little experience. We want to use it. Uh, there, you know, cyberpunk the role-playing game they had some it was like a chapter in their book i think it was you know you know i think it was the combat chapter called friday friday night firefight and oh you know what we should do is take this off and punch this guy it's a little punching experience and then I saw a, a game somewhat recently that was called that. It didn't look very good. I think it was, it was, I think it was called that. It wasn't related to cyber, you know, it wasn't like part of their, their, uh, thing. You draw pawns to build. So it's like a, kind of like a card, like a deck building game. I mean, not the combat part. Five in a row though. Do you play against other humans? So, you know, League of Legends. I probably have told you this before. Oh, yeah, there was like something. Oh, they killed it. The other guy killed it. Uh, <clears throat> where I used to have my backup servers for my job was like a... Uh, uh, server farm. And it was also where League of Legends had their serve, server farm. And it was weird because many, my roommate at the time, uh, past roommate, uh, was very into League of Legends. He was very excited about that. That I could see their servers. You know, they're just a big boring pile of computers, you know, but. I could reach out and touch them. No, like, literally, literally I could have. <laughs> I didn't have my thing. Um, the problem, the problem with trying to switch to like a, a crappier weapon to like learn that skill in this game is that all of the guys are kind of deadly. Like a rat isn't deadly, but at the beginning, a rat would have been deadly. So it's like you don't really want to fuck around that much. Oh, these fuckers. This fucker. I only have one crossbow bolt. Oh, no, I have one now. Oh, I critted him, and I put a bleed on him. Well. Oh, no, I thought I was standing next to a... Oh. 
wisdom level gained. Uh, the worker's gloves have become worn. <clears throat> we got a raw egg. All right. Looks like, no, this is why I went over to this thing and this is open, but it's hard to tell. I think that's everything on this level. I'm trying to bump it against the thing up there. All right, we've cleared every monster out of here. So we can go use that guy's bed and carry on, or we can go back to our house and check some shit out. Let's go back to our house. I can't see anything, any treasure or anything that I missed. Oh, there's another level down, actually. And I did miss this. How much? How many breads do I got left? Three? Another bandage is always welcome. Another wood is always... Two woods, because then I can make another splint. A fancy doublet. Uh, two physical resistance. Well, I mean, we're going to take it all, but what is this? Eight physical, a peasant vest. We're all out of, we're all, all out of crossbow bolts. Oh, these guys suck. I remember now, they can like steal from you and shit. Um... It's son, son of a bitch. I don't think he stole from me. Oh, there's the guy who poisoned me or whatever. I think we should get out of here. This is too... This is... <laughs> this is too tough for my... Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I can't do it! Uh... Yeah, he's gonna get one more hit in. Oh, he cast some spell that moved me. I think it's time to try out whatever this is. I feel speedy. <laughs> speedy enough to run away? Uh, that gave me a little bit of health, but not enough, I don't think. I can jump. I forgot about my jumping ability. And we could eat a bread. This guy is very fast though. I'm still speedy though. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm actually fast enough to get away from this guy but not is this the whole level I think this is the whole level what happens if I hit B here nope gold has a gone <laughs> it is but I think I'm, when I run out of this I'm fucked I think he can catch me and hit me in fact I know he can Yeah, I can't. I can't leave up the stairway. But with my little jump thing, I actually... I wish I had more crossbow bolts, man. I got nothing. I guess we're just gonna have to run and eat food. Uh, let's jump. To give me a little more space here. Now, if they were smart, one of them would go around the other direction. And then I'd be really fucked. We can... Oh, here's a bow. I put... I left that other shit behind. That, uh... Um... My arrows. I was like, I don't have a bow. I'll just leave them behind. <clears throat> um... Physical resistance, 15. I think that's a better deal there. Yeah, this run around isn't working because I'm out of, out of my speed. 
He only had one hit point left. <laughs> Fucking guy. Uh, I like running in a panic. Ah! Uh, okay. There's got to be a way to look at these guys. I swear to God there is, and I just can't remember how to, how to do it. Maybe there isn't, and I'm just thinking of another game. Uh, I'm just going to make sure, you know, my I did. Look, I have three points on axes. Uh, blades, I have one. We're going to go up with the experience thing. Uh, one percent, three percent accuracy, which is actually probably worth it. I wonder if I was saving some of this stuff though. Uh, plus fifteen percent armor penetration. Each time an enemy attacks, causing you to receive a wound, gain max damage for twenty turns. Receive a wound though. That's pretty. I haven't. Is it out? I saw that there was a video, you know, there was like a tutorial for it, but, cause I, but I know that they released it kind of early for, to some people. Uh, I mean, I did back in the day, but I haven't since they... they. Uh, but I didn't know if that, that minute was out or whatever. Have you tried it out? Enemy stuck by terrible cleave. Cleave up to three targets in front of you. That's pretty rare. Uh, that's cost four, three, three. Your attacks become unpredictable. I mean, that's nice, but... Attempt to execute a foe, attacking with accuracy and dealing 1% damage for every missing health. That's weird. I think we're going to stick with this uh, some shit here. <laughs> You know, I I remember playing, the, you know, the early, the An ASCII version or whatever it is. ANSI? Yeah, whatever. Of Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode and not playing it that much because it was like the learning curve is so steep. But it's, pro it's probably worth it, <laughs> worth it for the... Um, but I remember running around a little bit. I also was more into the... Um, wow, Decapitate. Targets with health less than or equal to your decapitation amount are instantly killed on hit. Well, that's a pretty good... Huh. <clears throat> I do like 20 points of damage. I have the new drawer fortress, you know, not new, but the graphical one. I think I'm going to go with some basic shit here. I think I'm just going to put some accuracy into my axes. I think that's just the classic thing that I want to do. I think that's... I probably was saving up for like the cap date or something. But the thing is, it's a 10. And there is a minimum. Yeah, that would be hard to, hard to get to. Just making sure I don't have any other things here. Um... Oh, I do have one point in body. Oh, I couldn't spin it on anything. Oh, I can do this. Identify. Oh, yeah. Let's get to that. I think that's new. They have been. They keep redoing stuff. And the developers are actually pretty active. Even, like, on Twitch, sometimes they'll drop by my streams. And... All right. There's one more dude around here. I got to remember. Don't, I'm not, I can't get too... Uh... He's the, the mage. I'll probably die now that I just fucking took all that time. Where's my bread? <clears throat> you know, I'm so, I'm still... And I, everyone hates it when I say this, but... Not everyone. Many people get very upset that when I say this, but I still think that... It's... Dwarf Fortress just in general is really buggy. Kind of unacceptably buggy. <laughs> it's been in development for 20 years. Um... Can I leave this now? I can. I could also run over. Let's kill that guy. I have a feeling that getting killing that guy is important. So let's run over here. Let's use this guy's bed and level up with whatever. 
Oh, man. Uh, what does getting on the podium mean? Got one skill point. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go with Quartermaster. Normally, I always go for books. I do have, like, some... I can make potions and stuff. I think I'm going to go with the Quartermaster so I can carry more shit. That seems to be the the thing I need the most is carrying more shit. Uh, perform a uniform maintenance routine, increasing the resi physical resistance to your armor and by 8%. Oh, it costs 2. Uh, each quarter master level increases carrying by 1. <coughs> do, do people like friend you and stuff? on that game I assume and then like you battle them more reduces the weight of bread <laughs> um, decreases the weight of all equipped gear what about You can now repair items before they reach worn dur durability. Uh, repair items gain a uh, plus 15% durability. I don't have the points for this. I was hoping there was one that gave you more experience. Uh, probably. Let's do this one. Oh, I cannot do that one. Uh, the only two I can do, and this, I that seems... not worth it. I mean, I only have one bread. I was carrying on five bread earlier, but I had to eat it all. So let's just hold off on that for now. Um, full health. We can go. We can take this last guy. I hope. Uh, you know, I should be jumping towards those guys too. Summoner's Rift. Why does that sound? Oh, he's right here. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, here's this little thing. A uh, whispering amulet, hex resistance, a uh, col uh, collar, uh, collared earth star, large and edible. Oh, it's a mushroom. I was thinking like, whoa, it's an earth star. You know, I I ran into my or what? No, you know, we were. I was playing an online game fucking game was that oh it was that battle bit game and my old roommate was joined us that i hadn't talked to in like five years the guy who was on league like Le league legends and i was like are you still playing league of legends and he was like no that game's a piece of shit or something like that and i was like okay <laughs> like, can i wear this yeah <clears throat> for a while he was very into it Yeah, it did get, you know, I played it. I played the battle. Is am I calling it the right game or is it bit battle? I don't know. I played it. I played it with my friends for probably a couple of weeks on and off, like not regularly. And then it got old and I, they released some updates and I decided to play it by myself. You know, before I was like trying to get a group of people together and it was just, you know what it was? It was the snipers. The snipers just killed me over and over and over again, and I was just like, fuck this. <laughs> uh, Helldiver is much more, like, has more lasting power, to me at least. Um, though it also, I'm also getting tired of it. So, I guess we should head back to our home. To my home. And that was, so, when I first played the the battle bit or whatever the snipers were annoying but it wasn't like you were killed over and over and over and they they said that they were going to address that situation maybe i should take this it's 16 days and then when they like updated it and i thought the updates included um an improvement on the sniper situation but it was worse <laughs> it was much worse um so all I, you know, oh my God. I think 
all the only thing I think I need to take all my shit out. Oh, I can't sell it to anybody though is the problem. I can sleep in this person's bed and use this thing. This is not my room. Um Wait, maybe these guys will accept some trade. Oh, I'm going to take a, a break here. Um, I have no... Man, this town absolutely sucks. And the thing is, is that I don't... I have all this shit stored up here, and I can't carry all this stuff. I'm just going to see how heavy... And if it will let me, like, walk around with this shit. Yeah, I think getting the room was a mistake. Um, I cannot move. Uh, so let's put back... Actually, I'm going to go take a break and I hope... Well, maybe they'll take... No one is going to buy all this crap. I can salvage it for shit and try to make other stuff, I suppose. I got 300 gold. Did I ever never read that other recipe? Um, let's put all these books back. And then I will go take a break. Still too much. Burnt books. I don't think those are worth anything. <clears throat> Peasant's vest. That was actually pretty good. I don't think I read that. I didn't read that after all that talk. Okay, I can move again. Sluggish. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, and I will be back in less than five minutes.
Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, Battle Bay. It, it wasn't. It's not like bad or anything. It's actually pretty good. Um. I'm just gonna get rid of some stuff to lighten my load here. The problem is, is I want everything. But I'm gonna go at traveling and find a better town. This town blows. And the only other shop is this guy. Why is this door always closed? What is wrong with you guys? Is this guy here? Oh no, there's another one right there. Uh, what do you have to trade? Oh, you won't buy any of my stuff, huh? You son of a bitch. What do you have to trade? You'll buy my other things. At this point, I feel like I should just sell all this stuff. I don't have a splint, though. Uh, I don't have a place I can craft anything, so maybe I should just sell all this shit. Just to lighten the load here. It's a huge bummer that I'm selling all this crafting material, but... There's nothing else to... Oh, maybe those guy, this guy will take those shoes. Oh my god, all these books. Look at all these books. <laughs> I can move. Nobody wants my stinking books. Uh, and I need more bread. I should have taken the bread thing. <laughs> I should have taken the bread thing. Now can I move still? I can, but I'm sluggish. No one else will trade. Um, I could, no, I don't have any alchemy skills. I don't have any cooking skills. Uh, what do you have to trade? He won't take any of this crap. Oh, this isn't the armor guy. This is some other guy now. Oh, it makes sense because he's got the thing. You know, I should give Battle Bit a, another try. I want to find like a Milsim game or whatever the fuck they're called. Um, that I like, and I just don't like any of them. I guess we'll drop these. Where'd they go? What does it tell me? They do not stay around forever. Um, I have this two-handed pick, so I can't really use this buckler. The cotton shirt, I can craft it. I can salvage. Oh, I probably should have done that with the... the um, where is that thing? I dropped it in a very bad spot here. Let's salvage. Let's just go, because I think... No, maybe you don't. Work gloves. How are my current work gloves? They're worn. We'll salvage them. Oh, I can't because I don't have that skill. No, I can. You just don't get as much shit. I have other work gloves that I can put on. Um, where am I? Yeah, I wasted money getting that room. No, I wanted to drop them. And we'll drop these things. Well, we'll put in something. Work boots are three. That slows you down, but let's do it. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. What are the padded? 4%? Drop this. Drop that. Fancy doublet. 2% resistance. Drop this. I guess we'll drop that. Like, I absolutely... Oh, wait, we have all these sh shitty swords. And a shiv and stuff. Like, if someone would take... I can't believe I'm dropping all this loot. I can't... I like it. Which... Doesn't we know what it costs? What it's worth? Damn it. Two versus... No, get out of here. Three. No. Drop. There we go. And I want all the food and stuff, and I want all that stuff. I mean, these are these are kind of stacking up at this point. 
bread recipe. I didn't read this one. There we go. I guess we have an additional one. I want all these books too. Like no one will take my crap. Oh, we can drop these. Burnt books are worthless. I suppose I can pick up another sword. Well, I feel like I have made major mistakes, but we gotta find a better town. Uh, why is this one still marked? Let's see. Oh, I can't go to my journal here. Um, <clears throat> nope, that's not what I <laughs> wanted. Oh, right, I gotta come back to him. So we can try to go, well, let's find a better town, because this town fucking sucks. Normally they're, they're, they have things. And it sucks too, they have other buildings and things. Um, who are these guys? Uh, who are those guys and those guys? I assumed all the towns would be on roads, but maybe... Okay, here's a burning town that's on fire. And I stumbled in here, uh, I'm exhausted. The outside world. Some of your gold is missing. What? Oh shit, I'm not, what happened to my weapon? Oh, there's like sand monsters and shit. Oh, am I gonna die right here? He's preparing something. Oh my god, that guy can move. Negative 12 physical resistance. Okay, I'm gonna die right here. Well, that was, he lasted longer than I thought. Uh, so I was digging, let's see. We could go with like a chef or something. The brawler was kind of hard. We could do the hunter. What does he come with? Hunter's instincts, ranged weapons, 5% chance to recover. Major skill is survival. Uh, two minor skills. Each inner state of heightened awareness to gain uh, plus 15%. Let's try the hunter out. And then we'll just not do whatever we did before. I think we have to war, war wrapped. And the war wrapped stood on parallel masters of melee. Their advanced techniques develop rel relentless pursuit of perfection. Each war wrapped level decreases the cost of melee and ranged abilities and gives a small damage boost. Huh. I think that might be new. Is there another class that I didn't... A new class that I didn't see? Dreadheart, I remember that one. <clears throat> Chivalry. There's no new class. It's very tempting to take that, but I think we have to have cooking. Since we get these choices. We can take that, actually. That's what we'll do. Survival gives us bonuses like track, uh, trap detection and increased healing. And then one physical thing. Regenerative uh, tissue sounds pretty good. Uh, let's go with that one. And then roll your starting items. I, I don't think this was here last time. Let's re-roll just to see what our options are. Okay. A peasant's pot. This is fine. Um... The Cranky Arrow. 
Oh, I can't use the arrow key. Just cranky arrow, I think, would be better. Cranky arrow. <clears throat> He's got his crossbow. We have no melee weapon. And there's a snake right there. What does this do again? For 10 turns. No, 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 no. Oh, this is the thing I was talking about earlier. I said it's really easy to accidentally click and... Oh, my weapon has to be loaded. I've just fucked this all up. It's really easy to... Uh, accidentally move. And I don't know why I do it so much, but I do. We did it. And we got a bolt back. And we got three bolts back. Uh, this thing, you just gotta go and, and do it real quick. It's a starting thing. Good God, I'm like fucking it up already. A bow would be much nicer, honestly. Because no 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 no. Uh, a bow would be much nicer because I wouldn't have that reload time, even if it does less damage. Got some bolts in the trash there. I got a bandage. Feeling more confident though. That other guy was rough. He was hard to start with. Very rough. Oh, I gotta eat some food. I got the peasant's pot here and some bread. We will eat the bread. Okay, I'm okay on the health. Oh, you know what I didn't check, too, is I bet you I have. Um, I was curious if we could beat this guy to death. This is a good spot to try to beat someone to death if you're going to do it, you know. Uh, let's see what my uh, gain plus one minimum damage plus one maximum damage. What was that one thing I got? I guess <clears throat> start at the top here. One of these probably gives experience. All experience gained. Um. Let's go with that one. I don't think there's... Uh, on armor attacks, gain one stack of combat momentum, which stacks up to 10 times. On turns you did not attack or use a combat ability, one month, uh, each stack of combat momentum gains plus one minimum damage. Um, each stack. Well, that's a vast improvement of what I had before. Look at that. Now I'm like doing some real damage up to 10. Well, that's vastly improved. Maybe we'll do because the guy's an archer to start. Maybe we will do. Um, what was that other side skill that I got? This thing. Five points in survival. For eight turns, gain 40 movement and 10%. Reduces your damage and drains energy. It costs two. Wait, five points. And the words of Aldous the Adventure, tis better to avoid the trap altogether. Uh, automatically identify common potions, including basic health. Do any of these give you takes one food or one oh wow you can get that one's like a, a must you can with one wood you can make a campfire 
Uh, running away actually seems pretty good. So I'm going to pick that. Uh, bleed and poisons have a 50% chance of increased healing. All raw food lasts three turns longer. That one's pretty good too. Actually, all of these are really good. The hunter is pretty great. Uh, so we can slip away more easier. What are these recipes? A twiggy bolt recipe or a wooden arrow or a camp kit. Well, we don't need the camp kit that much. I kind of want this this one. Oh, I still got one more. Um, it just requires two wood to make a bow or a, a bolt. I'm going to go with the automatically identified stuff. Cooking, we have two. I'm going to hold on to these until we know what type of stuff we have. And then this war, war wrapped. Uh, reduce the energy cost of all melee and range by three. Swap your alternative item takes 40% less time. Enter a stance, entering a stance takes less time. All melee and range take less time. What is this built in thing? Plus 0.25% damage. Um, okay. Art of Defense. <clears throat> oh, when you wait a turn, you gain. What about when I reload? Uh, negative to people shooting at you. Dodge. Uh, you get more physical resistance. That's pretty... Oh. Requires war, whatever. I don't have a shield. Two-handed specialist. Man, this would have been good for that guy I had a minute ago. I wonder how you learn the war wrapped thing. Uh, this one. Each tile. I have two points. I'm not, not running out of energy right now. I, let's do this one. I don't know what stances I have. I'm going to do this one because I feel like I'm when I'm getting shot, it's really quite bloody. Man, this guy's like a badass compared to my other dude. My other dude was a piece of shit. Now, comparatively, <laughs> it's one of those games where you... Um, where it's not balanced, which on purpose, you know. But I think they also they changed the the brawler class a little bit. I think from the last time I played, and that's why I was not really paying attention. A brutal bastard sword. Well, we might go into two-handed weapons. Requires five master to use. Um, <clears throat> you can still use it. You're just going to suck. All experience with bladed weapons is increased by 5%. Gains plus three accuracy while using swords. This guy's going to be a badass. All right, he's going to die in like two seconds. But until then, he'll feel like a badass. I want to make sure there's no doors over here. We can get rid of this crap. Whoops. Nope. A badass archer. Generally. Oh, right click to inspect. What? Uh, right click. I did that earlier and it didn't work. Uh, well, now it works. I don't know. Maybe that other thing was like some mildly bugged or something. Uh, we're going to go to our two-handed sword here. I wasn't sure if I could move or hit him at a distance with a two-handed sword. And here's a bet. If we level up, we can go use... 
Oh no. I ran towards the snake. Snakes are surprisingly dangerous because they can, uh... What does this do again? What does this say? Negative 10 accuracy and negative to that spot. Uh, they, snakes can poison you, if I remember correctly. I hear the cooking spot. We don't have anything to cook, though. Oh, we don't have meat. Well, do we? We have one raw meat. And do we have any potatoes? We don't have any tomatoes. Or pota <laughs> potatoes. Uh, but we could go to our masteries here, or sorry, our skills, and go to cooking, and do some meat prep here. <clears throat> and then we can get ourselves a roasted haunch. And a raw egg, fried wedgies. Wedges, not wedgies. That's a whole different thing. Oh, there's a tomato. Speaking of tomatoes, there's some eggs. We should probably learn how to boil eggs. Fruit tart recipe? We're learning all sorts of crazy shit in the beginner dungeon. A funky fruit cake recipe? We got some stink horn. Do we have an antidote? We do have some antidote. Uh, so boiled eggs. We have three of them. Let's, uh, let's put boiling on her. So this is like one of the classic things in this game is if you get cooking you can like kind of grind like look at that experience there we go i was leveled up just from boiling eggs and i think it's a good thing if that makes sense like i think it's the uh, uh a good part of the game is it like i kind of like that you can do that in certain games yeah give this guy an arrow in the face okay don't give him an arrow in the face I should have done that. Grabbed ourselves a tomato. The nether bed. I don't think we want to do the bed yet. Let's clear out. Oh, we're hungry. Let's clear out this level first. Was this one locked? I think this one was locked. Yeah. And food doesn't really seem like a, a problem, you know, starvation-wise, like health-wise, because it regenerates your health, too. It, it can become an issue. Um, I think I cleared everything out. That was incredibly easy comparative, comparatively with the last guy I had. And we got beds and shit. <coughs> and I heal faster. The fuck? Um. Oh, we don't have any. I should have waited. Can I exit out? Oh, man. Can I continue without doing it? You, all points must be spent. Fuck. Fuck. Well, I guess, uh. Oh, you can click on these. It's kind of broken, but you can click on it. I, I'm gonna go with cooking if I got to spend my skill point I'm gonna put it on cooking and we'll hold on for this last point to see what else we we can cook over here like what else do we have zero we have raw potatoes we need peeling for the baked potatoes so let's go with let's go with peeling or actually let's double check I think it's just easier to look here uh, Rob, defer, uh, the, the, we need peeling and frying. We need all sorts of shit. So, let's go to our skills. Peeling. And we'll make some baked potatoes. I love baked potatoes. Man, I want some potatoes now. What have I been doing with my life? Not eating potatoes. We'll go drink out of this thing. We'll go down to the next level. Yeah, what a better start. That it's just difficulty level, you know? Like how hard do you want it to be? No, I did it. Did this wrong again. Alright, we'll just crossbow this guy. Nice. 
Um, we could. I've been using the that spell or whatever. No. Uh, to balance out the negative I'm getting. Iron bolt, baby. That's what we need. I saw this guy. Oh, shit, I didn't see that guy, though. He's dead. No. No. Why is it doing that? It was showing this, but when I clicked down here, it was walking towards him. Nice, we just got another level. Good guy, that other guy sucked compared to this guy. Just difficulty level. Uh, ranged, we want to increase our experience gain. And honestly, I just want I just want accuracy for the end of time until we maxed out the accuracy. I want every shot to hit. I don't care how much damage it does. Alright, that's not true. I want it to still do a lot of damage, but I want every shot to hit. Yeah, see it doesn't. Oh, and I killed him. Maybe I'm out of range on some of these guys. And that's why he's stepping forward. That's probably what it is. We started out with we with like 75 or something. Got some cabbages. Switch to our big dumb sword. Got some raw insect meat. Yeah, get him with the big dumb sword. What other game was I playing recently that I was grinding like this? I can't remember where I would switch between. What was it? And in fact, I was reading. No, I wasn't reading. It was Spider Company was talking about the same thing, like it was a intended mechanic. There's an arrow. But there's a guy over here. No, no, see there, that's it had the sword. It had the sword. The sort of the attack sword icon. What I'm Yeah, I don't know why it's so easy to do that. <clears throat> we can do it bolts. Oh, they take feathers. Damn it. Whoops, then I reloaded instead of switching to my other weapon. Got him. Guess when you when you switch you automatically reload? No no no, see it did happen again. It was definitely the sword. And it doesn't have and I got my crossbow. That's strange. Got some raw meat. We can make some meat haunches or whatever they're called. Oh, I didn't get this guy's loot. Maybe I was out of like energy or something. More bolts to get more of my bolts I've gotten back. No. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, he teleported over. It's going to take a long while to get my sword up to five. I probably should just go back to punching. Punching was okay. Punching was fine. Let's do that. Maybe we'll, we'll sell that sword or something. It'll take an eternity. Focus points. What are you talking about? Uh, you've gained a cooking level. Didn't we already do that? Yeah. 
uh, do we want to cook any of this other stuff? So the issue is if that that uh, that shitty town is the town you started now or next to now. Uh, cooking is gonna, or you know, that doesn't have any places to do anything. Oh, we have discovered a study bench. We have no books to read though. We have discovered the reading skill. Distilling eternity. And we don't have that. I would I would have taken that if I had wait, do I have another level? No. Oh these these guys kinda suck. I mean, they're kind of like a pain to fight. I think I just wait here now. Oh, I got a bleed on me. Beat the shit out of him, though. Oh, look, he's got it. He had a some bling. Where is it? Wrong bronze ring. He did beat me pretty good, though, and he also. Made me bleed. You know, we got four of them. I was thinking... There we go. Now we have the medicine skill, too. <clears throat> I was thinking that... We have that other survival thing where we, we don't... Whatever as much. No, stop stepping towards them. Oh, we gotta eat some food. Now we got haunches and things here. I uh, know, let's just eat another egg. The problem with this this thing is it takes a long while to start building up the damage. I mean it works. There we go, got a little health there. I mean we can keep using the crossbow, but I'm trying to also like, oh, these guys are kind of dangerous. Um, save my crossbow bolts for like much more dangerous things. Uh, let's go back to our fists. Let's do this. You know, if we, oh fuck, they poisoned me. Or I think that's poison, yeah. If we got a level up, we should probably apply it. Momentum's great, but there was another one that's just straight up minimum maximum damage. I feel like I miss all the time, though. <laughs> level three, deadly. Those dudes are missing left and right. Wow, they didn't seem that deadly. You know what's deadly is this poison though. You know, the poison isn't actually that deadly either anymore because I have my regions better. Tribal short bow, 12 through 19. Let's read all this. Uh, 12 through 16. Oh no, 12 through, or nine through 12. Where did I get that other? 60% <laughs> uh, recovery chance for my ammo. It's not very good. And we only have four arrows. <clears throat> I wonder if I can wear this buckler and still punch people. I would assume yes. Some more bolts, some more shirts. Peasant's vest is better than that shirt though. Man, this, this is a lucrative peasant pot recipe.
There we go. Kind of hurt. Let's eat another boiled egg. Uh, what was the other thing I picked up? I don't remember. So I guess with the campsite, we could, we could like level up whenever we wanted to. I mean, I guess not whenever we wanted to, but. Man, well, yeah, I miss a lot with this, so I'll probably. Oh, my man. Oh, because it, it isn't. This took off my momentum thing. I can't wear a shield with it. That's a bummer. Whoops. Um, do I have a potion of alchem or antidote? I do. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I think my survival skill helps with this. I mean, I could look at it. It was a critical failure. I, I think I took the thing that helped with poison. Just gonna keep an eye on it and hope that I don't have to do the, the whatchamacallit. That was a nice start. Um, Use the antidote, that's what I was. We got some knoll clay. Still haven't made my next level though. And I'm also still quite poisoned. So tell me. Does not. I was gonna see if it tell told me like what my chances were of getting rid of it. Uh, we don't really want to stack this poison, except we kind of do want to stack it if we're going to use that antidote. Uh, healing. Food is your primary way of healing. You know, we kind of have a lot of food, so let's eat this. Maybe this will put out... No, we're... We're going to have to use the antidote. And I got my crossbow out. Oh, there's two of them here, huh? I think this might be... Oh, fuck! He spit poison on me! Um... Oh, now I can't close that. But I just used my antidote thing. I'm gonna fucking die, you son of a bitch! I just gained some wisdom! <clears throat> It's a little late for that, though. Eat a baked potato at least before you go down. Have your nice uh, last baked potato. I don't think I can craft anything. I would need a, that alchemy table or whatever. I think this could be the end. If I stand still, I die. Do I have anything? Uh, peasant pot. Plus four health. Bread. Eat it. Tomato. Oh, the bread didn't apply. I'm about to die. There's nothing I can do about it. I already have two things. There's nothing I can do about it. Campsite. No, I wanted to place it. <laughs> oh my god, that guy was so good too. All right, we're going to do another one of those guys. Uh, maybe I should switch. Maybe I should go like it with a knight. Or... No, we'll do another one of those guys, but I'm going to take a quick break. And or maybe this is a good yeah this is a good whoops I almost fucked shit up over here uh, this is a good time for me to call it a night my work has been very busy lately uh, anyways this is the doors of Trithias the hunter guy was fucking great the, the brawler was quite hard anyway that's it for me 
Talk to you guys next time. Bye.